it's Jimmy the E here with all the dope on his brand new Comica wireless microphone. And that's enough of that. The only thing sadder than an old person with a tattoo is an old person trying to sound like a young person. It just doesn't work. I did a uh, YouTube video on uh, wireless microphones, giving you a lot of good information about how to use a wireless microphone, particularly if you're a comedian but in other applications as well, particularly if you're looking for something that's going to work with a Android phone, or in my case, a Apple 8 Plus, which is in my pocket and I'm gonna need eventually, so I'm getting it out. Anyway, I was using one unit and I, I felt that I maybe come across too strongly about it, even though I had said I had a problem with it once. And I did a second video saying that I couldn't recommend that unit because after the first video, the same problem resurfaced and I had to go find a new one. Now, because I am working with the Apple 8, Apple 8 Plus, the only connection, the only way you can get any phones or what have you into this is by the lightning connector, which is on this end, not on the other end, right there. And uh, that cuts down on your options a little bit because it takes a special kind of connection. Um, I'm gonna get to that in a little bit, so you, you're gonna, better idea. What I ended up going with, and I went with it with a great deal of reservation, was uh, a unit from Konica, the CVM WS50. There's my little, there's my little book that they gave me with all my instructions in about 94 different languages, some which are no longer spoken on this planet, but they're in there anyways, just in case somebody from the past shows up and wants to do something wirelessly with a lavalier microphone. Anyway, I was very concerned. The unit I bought, the Samsung, cost me initially $350. And what I liked about it was it, it hooked up directly into the lightning connector. There was a special connection for that. Everything else I had looked at had to have a patch cord or something in the middle to make it work. And it, it left me kind of concerned. So looking around, uh, one of the problems that it appeared to factor into this is that you could get a dongle like this which could go into your iPhone. I am told they come with the iPhone. I don't know that it came with mine initially or I threw it out or what happened because this is all wireless now. So that plugs into the end there. And the idea for the dongle actually is not about a microphone, but it's about plugging in a, a headphone set. So if you've got headphones, you can plug it in there and it'll all work. Apple has a kind of a weird thing when it comes to the little little doodicky that plugs into things and that is that uh, I talked about this before and I'm going to do it again just because it's it's really a big deal and you need to know this uh, this on my my right hand your left is a TRS connector and that stands for tip ring sleeve now if you look at it closely you can see two black rings going around do not be fooled by that those rings are spacers the ring it's talking about is in between the two spacers now, when you're using an Apple device, usually what you have to do is use a TRRS plug, which I happen to have right here. And as you can see, let me, it's hard to work this out when you're doing this backwards. Oh, come on, right here. Uh, it's got the tip, it's got three black rings, which denotes two rings and the sleeve. So what you have to do is you have to have that to plug into the Apple device. Now I'm gonna back that up one step because uh, when I mentioned that in my second video, Low Clark con uh, contacted me and he had an article there that said that no, what you need to do is you can use a TRS connector, you plug it into here first, and then you plug it into your phone. Now the way I read that, if I've got this correct, is if you put this in on its own, it immediately assumes that you're going to put a headphone in and that's what it does. When you have a microphone already plugged into it and you plug it in, supposedly it will go, oh, that's not a headphone, it's a microphone, treat it differently. That being said, I, the one article that Lowe sent me was the only one that I have ever seen that said that. The videos that I saw on YouTube generally said, no, you've got you to have a converter or something to move it from one thing to the other in order to make it work. So. With that in mind, let me take you back to my decision to buy what I ended up buying. What I ended up buying, as I say, is the Comica, I gotta keep remembering looking at the CVM WS50. 
And what was nice about, first of all, it was a lot less money than the other one. It was $219.95. It looked weird in the picture, something different than I'd seen. But Comica has a lot of different, uh, there's a lot of YouTube videos on it, and it compares very well to a lot of better quality equipment. Now, it wasn't, there's other, it's part of the same family of those other units. Most of the ones that they have are really made to hook up to a camcorder or a, something along those sort of lines. This is actually designed for the phone and particularly for the iPhone. So what you get, first of all, that I didn't get with my other one, is I got this beautiful little bag. Yeah! My wife gave me a bag for the other unit that was an old makeup bag. It was all silver and sparkly and she usually came along and that was fine, but on the odd occasion I had to go myself and while there's nothing wrong with a man carrying a sparkly bag, it can lead to comments that are not really relevant to him. Uh, one side of it here, I've taken all the stuff out just to make it handy for me, is the um, place for wires and other little doohickeys. A little hunk of foam that goes over the top there to separate that from this stuff. And it's all held in place nicely, cut to order. And it comes with something that the other unit didn't have as well. And it comes with a tripod, which actually... I thought, well, that's okay, but I'll probably use my tripod. It turns out that this is actually a dandy little unit. So I'm going to kind of construct this for you right in front of you so you can see what's going on. And as I go, I'll explain some of the little nuances and little things that I, I really like that are better than my old unit. Um, starting off with this, I guess. Uh, it's pretty simple. It's a little ball type. It's got this little button on the back. There we go. Press that button in, and you can actually move that ball around. And so if you've got a camera up on top, which is what I'm going to do, you can move it around to aim it exactly where you want it. Or you can simply fold it all up like this, and it becomes a handheld unit, a little selfie stick that somebody can do whatever with. So it works out very well. Um, I, I'm surprised. I really like it. So there you go. So there's, a, there's factor number one in this unit. Now, the other thing you get is this. This unit is the receiver. This is the part that takes the signal in from your wireless lavalier microphone transmitter, which we'll get to eventually. And uh, what, you're, what you can do with this is it's got these little fold-out nibs at the back, and you can put it on the back of your cell phone. This, this actually unscrews, and it will open it up a little bit, and you can tighten it down. I, I found that... And a little, I've got a better way, I think, to, of doing it that just, just seems to work and I feel a little more secure with anyways. Uh, this unit itself has some nice features on it. One is there's a volume control switch on there. So where with the old Samsung that I had, it was really in an awkward place. Uh, this can actually be adjusted on the fly from here, and it'll adjust your, what your, the signal that you're getting from your trans. Sorry, I'm just drooling here for some reason. I'm so excited about this. From the transmitter. The other thing it has that I, I absolutely love is there's a little hole in the bottom because you can plug your headphones into them. You can use earbuds, you can use whatever. Any standard TRS uh, connector will go into there. And again, I'm, I'm stressing the TRS because if you're using TRRS headphones from Apple, it can cause you issues. We were doing our podcast back to the balcony uh, a few days ago, and one of our guests, we sent along our equipment to her, and uh, she plugged in a, a set of Apple iPhones, and it didn't work because she was it, it because of that TRRS connector. So she went and got another one with a TRS connector, plugged it in, it worked fine. So that little TRS can cause you some issues, but we're we're going to get around it. So hang tough in there as we get there. Now, it has this. You can screw this onto the stand. I got this right way up. I did this once and I did it upside down, which was really embarrassing. I'm getting, I have my eyes fixed, and so I'm kind of getting used to new eyesight. I have my cataracts out, which is really cool. I can't, I can't see a damn thing beyond, beyond three feet, but if I take my glasses off, holy crap, that's the world. That hadn't been happening for years. Anyway, you screw this on there. Da, 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 da. Okay, that's good. Now, up on the top, there is a mounting little th screw thing. You have to have something with a screw going into it. Now... What you can put in there if you're using the lower section with your uh, your phone is that you can put a lighting unit up. If you have a small lighting unit, you want to light the thing. Well, that's highly unlikely to happen if you're like me, a comedian who's recording his sets in clubs. I'm too far away for that light to have be of any use. And I, quite frankly, question how much use it would be unless you were a foot away from the other person. However, 
This is where it gets brilliant. I went out, and guess what? You can buy this. It's a quarter inch, double threaded, little nut thingy dewy. Probably not called a nut. I call it a nut. What can I tell you? It's in, get it at photo, photography stores. You can get it wherever. I got it online. I forget what I called it in order to find it, but I found it. Anyways, now that I've got that on there, what I can do is I can take this. This is actually off of uh, a tripod selfie stick for iPhones. And uh, it has the thread on the bottom. It just isn't the male thread. It's the female thread. However, now that that's on there, I can take and put this on top. Do, 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 do. There's a lot of thread on there. So I'm going to look like an idiot. There I go. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. Okay, I'm not a genius, but still, it's pretty cool. Do that. Flip it up. Now what I can do is I can take my iPhone. I want that side over there. This is where all my connections, this is where the lightning connection is. This is where the connections, sorry, let's flip that. This is where the connections are for the, um, the cables that are going to, cable that's going to come up just one. So you get that and you put this up onto here. And voila, what you have is this. And uh, that can now record well, almost I got one more thing to do. Well, there's actually two things you need to do. One is remember to turn the units on, and the other is remember to plug it in correctly. Now, what you use, where did I put it? Right here. Um, when I first did my research on this, it I, I came across reviews that said that it didn't come, it, that it advertised for the iPhone, and, but it didn't come with the correct cable. You had to get this particular cable. So I ordered the cable that I thought I was going to need, and... Um, I got it, before, well actually, it was supposedly arrived before the camera, but because of the COVID, the things were delivered were way behind, and it was like two months later I got it. Uh, but it didn't really matter. I didn't need it. I'm holding on to it, because it could still be handy in other applications. What you got is this, this really cool cable. And it's, I say it's cool because it's it's got the, um, the twisty thing in the middle, because that gives you some flexibility if you need to move around a little bit. But you don't end up with a long cord that's dangling down, getting in your way if you're not using this particular system, you're using something else. Or even if you're using this, something dangling down is a pain in the derriere. Now, this actually has two ends on it. This was the example that I used earlier when I was talking. It's got a TRS end on one end and a TRRS on the other. The nice thing is, to make life a little bit easier, the TRS is TRRS, I'll get them right yet, is gray, the TRS is black. So it kind of stands out a little bit. And um, unless you get too smug about all this stuff, you, you really can't mess it up. However, so here's what we do. We take this unit here. We plug it in to the side of the receiver. This is, this is really weird doing. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can kind of see it. Let me tilt this up a little bit, cut my head off if I need to, but I'd rather you see that unit. There you go. You can see that. And I'm taking Low Clark's... Uh, recommendation the article that he had I haven't done it any other way this should work if you if this is plugged in and then this goes in I, th I think it should but because I don't want to le lose anything that I'm recording I'm doing it this way plugging it in here first then I'm plugging it in here da, 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 da. there we go I am 50% of the way to recording something I it's a, it's a faster setup than I'm doing here obviously because I'm trying to explain a lot of things to you now one of the Wow, somebody wants to talk to me. I think I'm going to have to pause this for a minute. Can I do that? You know what? I don't recognize this area code. I think it's somebody trying to sell me something. Nobody calls me, to be honest with you. Anyhow, let me get this out of the way because this is a little bit. You, you can't see it, but on my screen here, I can see my, uh, my little arrow pushing around. Uh, what you do on this unit, I will say finally, is that you want to push this button at the top and hold it, turn the unit on. It'll light up here. That light's flashing. It means that it's not connected to the receiver. There's no connection. Now you get a little screen in here, something I didn't have before. And it shows you that this is the neat thing about this. And all the units that I have seen, this part of the unit and the transmitter, which I think I should pull out of its little packet here, right here. On both instances, they're rechargeable batteries. <coughs> that was not a dry cough. That is not COVID. That's just me with something in my throat. I was just about to do it again. 
I know I'm not supposed to do it into my hand, but I swear I'll wash my hand when I'm done. I'm not going to shake anybody's hand anyways. It has the same thing on this side. Let me just turn this around so you can see that light flashing and what's going to ha should happen, all being well, is that I'm going to push this button here on the top here and hold it. And voila, that goes on. Notice the light, the light over here. That stopped flashing. This one isn't flashing. And again, it shows me how much battery is left in this unit. And it also tells me what channel I'm on. The, the unique thing about this is a radio frequency system. So it's got 48 channels that you can select in order to, um, to record whatever you're recording on. So if you're, for instance, if you're in channel 2 and it's, something's interfering with it, well, you can go up to channel 12 or channel 22 or channel 20, whatever you want, try another channel. You have to set it on both of these, this and this, so that they, they work. However, you'll know they do it because it'll stop flashing on you. Now, am I ready to move on? I think I am. This is the transmitter. It's a, I, I will say the build on this is actually really good. It feels very substantial, which, which is better than the Samson unit that I was using for before. I just feel that this is a lot, it's a lot less likely to get beat up as I go around. And it doesn't hurt that I've got the case to put it in. This, however, does have this very thin little Dewey on the back, oh, I got it upside down, to hook onto your belt, as the case may be. It's just thin metal, but I, I, I don't see that being a gigantic issue. I, I suppose I could get another one if I ever needed one, but, you know, it's, it's bendable. I could probably bend another one. And it comes with uh, this microphone. One of the issues I had with my old unit was that the, uh, I was, once in a while, not every gig, but every, usually a gig that I really wanted to be perfect, I would get a little choppiness, a little just a little in the middle of it. Some some little noise that really shouldn't have been there. And I have that, the beauty of this is I have not had that happen at all with this unit. Not at all. It comes with the microphone, the cord on... I always thought it was the cord on the other microphone. And the problem was with the other unit that I used, I couldn't just go to any microphone. I had It, was, it had a weird connection that it is not popular out there. So this is the standard TRS plugged microphone. You can go to Shure. You can go to... Uh, anybody who's making them pretty well, and this is the kind of thing you'll get. So if you ever want to replace this microphone for any reason, you can do it. So all you do is you take this unit here, and you plug it into LAR, and you're all set to go. And uh, I, could, I could clip this on and use it, and it's just fine. Now, that's all great. It all works wonderful, and I, I have done... Uh, a Zoom show. I, I've done three Zoom shows with it. I haven't had a chance because of COVID to get into a club for three or four months now. And so I, as a result, I haven't had a, a live situational chance to try this out and see how it works. I, I am very impressed by what I'm seeing so far. I don't anticipate any problems as a result. Okay, that's great on that instance. But what if, what if, and this has happened to me where I was hosting and I thought, you know, it'd be nice if I could have my microphone plugged into the the PA system that they're using, and then I could wear that. I could talk to the uh, comics up uh, on, when they're up on stage, and uh, they could talk to me, and it would all be amplified correctly to the audience. But again, with the other unit, there was no way of doing that. However, this unit has a way of doing it. So I'm just going to put take, turn this off just for the minute. You've seen a microphone. You know how it works. Hooks on here. Oh, I know what I was going to tell you. There was a... It's, it's, it's a little larger microphone than the other one. If you get other more expensive ones, the microphone becomes a lot smaller. Um, not a big deal in my eyes, not for what I'm doing. I, I suppose if you're doing a documentary and you wanted to hide that microphone as much as possible, a small mic would really, a small sensitive mic would be a good thing to have. And this is very sensitive, I have to say. Um, oh yeah, which reminds me, down here there is a volume control. Oh, oh sorry, over on the side. <laughs> And the nice thing about the volume control is, as I say, I think I may have mentioned this earlier, it controls the microphone. So if you've got, a, somebody's got a headphone set plugged into here and is listening and you sound like you're really loud and your the little clipping has occurred, you can turn it down. One thing it will not help you with is if you've got these cables here reversed, it's not going to work. If you've got the TRRS in here and the TRS up in here, it isn't going to go, it isn't going to work. But you're going to still hear it through here and you think you're doing a fine and wonderful job. Well, you're not going to do anything at all. So you got to kind of be... You got to be kind of smart about this stuff. Anyways, they also come with what's called a dead cat. Now, a dead cat 
which sounds like a pretty disgusting title, actually is a fuzzy ball that goes on top and it is so huge. But what it's for is if you were outside and it was a very windy day and you were trying to talk to somebody, it would basically eliminate the wind. What's on here, that little foam thing, is actually what's called a pop filter. I have one here as well. There's different types. Usually you see them with a, a round pop filter in front of the microphone and it stops the sound from kind of sibilating a little bit when you record it. So this does the same thing. It's a little bit larger, no big deal. I like it. I like the fact it's also a heavier cable to me than the other unit that I had. It seemed to be a lot thinner cable and as a result it did not give me a lot of confidence. When all that noises were showing up I thought it was something to do with this. I was shortening the cable, moving this unit up so it was sitting in my pocket and I was hooking this onto here. And that seemed to work, but it's like an awkward solution. I have done this, I've not had it single from ever since I started using it. So let me just turn this off. Off it goes. And I'll just set this aside. And I just want to, you're already off, are you? Did I turn you off? I think it, no, I didn't. I see you flashing. I see you flashing. That's a, that's a good thing. It says that, hey, you turkey, you didn't turn me off. Okay, let's do that. And there she goes. All right, now, I wanted to hook this up to a PA system and that wasn't going to happen with the other unit. However, this unit is different and you need something you, if you buy a lot of electronics, the chances are you've already got one of these around kicking about and if not, you can get one. You may have to get a, uh, the adapter that I'm going to show you which is anywhere from three to five dollars. That is this right here. This cable here, let me take this off here. As I said, this is a TRS end. Always TRS, not TRRS, TRS. This unit, this cable, has a TRS cable, or rather plug on both ends. If I plug that into the, into my dongle on my phone, unless low Clark is correct, it's not going to work. So um, let's assume that's the case. However, if I try to use this cable, let's unplug it here. So let's take a little step. I gotta, I gotta jump ahead a little bit because what's gonna happen is you're gonna plug into the public address system and you don't have an XLR plug, which is what this big huge thing is on the end here. Usually they have an option for what's called a quarter inch phono plug and that's it right there. But the beauty of it is, or rather the sad thing is, it's too much tinier unless it's an adopted like this, and you simply plug that into there, plug that into the case, plug that into the, uh, the system, and do that into there. I plug that in, and I can now have myself doing live, but have it going through the public address system. Be aware that you can't do two things at the same time. Uh, there might be a way to put a splitter on this so that one could go to the PA system and the other one could go to your camera. I don't know. That's a little out of my area of expertise. I haven't tried it. As a matter of fact, I'll be honest, the idea just occurred to me while I was talking to you. But that will give you the ability to use this with a public address system. I have used it as well. I was being interviewed uh, for somebody else's podcast. And uh, I ran, I, I didn't want to have this microphone in front of me because it, as comics know, it is somewhat obstructive between you and the audience. What you really want to do is, is have the least amount of stuff in front of you. So I used my clip-on microphone and plugged it, ran it through uh, one of the channels on my interface and it worked wonderful. No problems, no complaints uh, from the far end. So that was good. Now I don't want to leave you all in suspense, you know, cause all of this, all you're hearing is this microphone here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you outside into my backyard and I'm going to do a few tests where I'm going to walk away a great deal of distance because the this unit here is supposed to have a range of 300 feet. So initially, so essentially you can go to one end of a football field and somebody else can be at the far end recording you and you'll still be able to hear them. I not don't have 300 feet in my backyard, but it's a fairly yard, it's a pie shaped yard, it's pretty big and uh, I can get further away than I think most people will have to deal with if they're in a comedy club or any situation of, of a similar nature. After that I am going to bring it inside and do another test where I'm going to use it and I'm going to move away and go into another room where I'm out of the uh, what we call an obstructed view. That 300 feet is supposed to be an unobstructed view. But uh, I have had some success with this going around corners and what have you because the radio signal will travel that, that way for me. So 
Let's take a little break here. I'm going to stop this and then I'm going outside. We'll pick it up from there and I'll let you see, well, let you see what you see, which is me. Little piece of advice with any technical equipment, don't get smug. I came out here saying, okay, we'll just whip this sucker off. This is now our third take. The first time around, we neglected to turn the microphone on. Guess what? It won't work. Second time around, I showed you how there were two ends to the plug that runs into the camera, into the dongle from the camera. I had the wrong end plugged into stuff, so nothing went into the camera, despite the fact my wife could hear everything through her headphones. So now I'm going to try it again, and hopefully this time you will get an, an equally good sound from this thing. Boy, I'm so rattled, I don't even have a good verbal uh, comeback. There you go. So I'm just walking away. We've got, we've got quite a distance in this yard. It's a pie-shaped lot, which is always nice. Makes for a big backyard until you have to cut the lawn. It's wonderful. So I'm going back a uh, pretty fair distance here. I, I think it's safe to say this would be uh, probably as far away as you'd ever have it in a club. But... Uh, uh, hopefully the sound should not have changed between when I started to when I got back here. So I'm just heading back and I'm going to come back by way of my shed because I'm going to sneak in behind there for a minute and we'll see if it still picks it up. A lot of construction we're going around nearby. You can probably pick that up out of the, out of the background. Not much you can do about that. So now I'm, a, I'm out of visual range. There's actually a building between me and the receiver. I don't know what the, quest, the quality is going to be like or if it's even going to work. But there you go. And I'm coming in behind a bush right beside my wife. Good size evergreen, 10, 12 feet high, pretty full. Now I'm coming around and going, peekaboo, I'm back. Okay, I have to do this in one good take because my phone is running out of juice. By the way, you might notice how low I am wearing the microphone. Um, again, I don't want to have clipping. If my voice goes loud, if I'm projecting, I don't want to have it start to distort on me. You can wear this up higher if you've got a softer voice, whatever the case may be. So now I'm going to move away from here, and I am going to go down the hallway. Right down the hallway. I'll turn around and give you one last look, because I think I can see you. Hello there! Now I'm turning the corner and going into the bedroom. Uh, we did an addition back here onto a small bedroom. So I'm going back 20, 25 feet from the door. Sounds impressive, but the rest of the house is... Uh, cottage and now I'm heading back and if uh, this has worked well every the, the, the volume level should remain the same throughout the whole the whole little uh, tour that I just took and I'm heading on back this is a much more hollow room you may pick up a little more hollowness if not it's probably because the microphone is right there but if I had the microphone on from the phone you would be hearing a lot of kind of an echoey hard surfaces thing so that's everything I've got to tell you about the COVID. The COVID? I think you know all about the COVID. The Comica. Um, WNW5WS50. There we go. I remembered it in the end. I really like it. I'm very impressed with it. I was disappointed that I couldn't figure out how to do a Sennheiser with this unit with my phone. And in getting this, it was a, I thought I was doing a compromise and I was worried that I was getting a cheap product. I feel this is probably the best buy best $220 I have ever spent. It's so far so good. We'll cross our fingers. It remains that way, but I am very impressed. If you decide you need a wireless microphone and you want to give this one a try, I think I feel good at this point and say, yeah, I think I can recommend it. So there you go. Mm -hmm.